Get them in your mind. What are the weights that you're carrying that don't belong to you? Just get them in your mind right now. And if you say you don't have any, you're a liar. Liar. You are human. You're going to have weights for the rest of your life. And I'm not talking about like you need to go to the gym weights. I'm talking about weights and the spirit. All right, what are those things? You got them? When you got them, put your hand up. When you got the thing you're carrying that doesn't belong to you. When you got the worry that doesn't belong to you. When you're carrying your family that you're not supposed to carry. Your job, your finances, your health. I don't know. Whatever it is. All right, you got it? Now we're going we're gonna to drop the weights. So you drop the weight, but if you don't pick up the faith, you're going to pick something back oh. up. And if you don't pick up faith, guess what you pick back up? Come on. You pick up the weights. I just dropped my weights. And I, and I picked them up again. I just supersetted it. I dropped them and picked the same. No, it doesn't help you in the spirit. That destroys you. So we're going to drop the weights and you're going to pick up faith. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. If you haven't seen Heidi Sins' the story, go listen about hearing. Drop the weights and pick up the faith. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the what does the word of God say about the thing that you're dropping? Never one time does he say, hey, drop that fear and then pick it back up on your way out the door. He says, drop it. I mean, I'm sure that's more of an English translation. It's more of an eyes on Jesus translation. It says, be anxious for nothing. So right now, we're going to sing that again. And we're not singing a song with your mouth. We're singing a song with your heart and your mind. Come on. And some of y'all need to actually drop the weight. Some of y'all need to actually act it out. Come on. Because you can't think yourself free. So some of y'all need to actually drop them. Okay, yes. hold the fear, my fear, and pick up faith. Yes. Come on, I think we can do it. right now and I don't know how to describe it because I'm not a descriptive person but I can see us we drop weights and if we would actually run out the door ooh, heaven heaven real peace real joy 
real fire, not like, wow, I did it, like I'm so good. I dropped that weight right behind me. I mean, I can still reach and grab it if I need it, because contingency plan. Let's leave. Let's burn the boats, right? Let's burn the boats. So, Father, in Jesus' name, right now, I just pray, Lord, that the weights that so easily beset and bind us, that we would leave them and loose them on the ground, and we would leave them. And, Lord, I pray that we would flee from evil, flee from temptation, flee from worry, flee from fear, not because we want to just be free of that, but because you're not where those things are. The Bible says that devils visit dry places, and I thank you, God, that you are not a dry place, that you are water, you are light. And I pray that we would leave the dry and run to you. Yes. That we would run to you. Some of y'all better be careful. You're about to run into supernatural joy this morning. Some of y'all are going to smile. You're going to have a smile from ear to ear. And not because you accomplished anything but because He already accomplished it and you just, you're going to have a realization in your spirit. Your spirit's going to connect to the realization that He died and rose and that's it. Who cares? Nothing else matters. Come on. Somebody's going to have joy this morning. Your situation may not reflect joy, but the kingdom of God is joy.